Right. Hello, hello. New moon in Aries today. It is another uh, women's circle celebrating the new moon, celebrating new beginnings and a new cycle. We women, we know about cycles, don't we? We certainly do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Unfortunately. We have, yes, we have actually done a PhD on it, although it's, we don't have a doctor in it, but we do have a PhD in different ways. <laughs> So um, I'd like to welcome all of you back here on the call, and particularly because we have women that have participated in the past, like Constance, Jill, Sue, but we also we've got women that actually they are newcomers. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hola. Hola. <laughs> yes. So, um, new morning, Aries. I'm going to start by saying a little bit about, uh, you know, the... The element of fire, because Aries is, uh, we've got somebody actually, oh my God, I don't want to forget, Sue, she's got a birthday today, oh my God, we've got to say happy birthday to Sue. Oh yes, happy, happy birthday, birthday, birthday Sue. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> so we have, a, we have an actual Aries in our group. Yeah, uh, we do. <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody else who's got uh, who's an Aries in the group? Anybody else? No, or knows knows a lot about Aries people? No, <laughs> I know a lot flaky. About I think I think they're all flaky, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> they are all fiery. They are all fiery, and uh, also Aries is uh, is all about um, connecting with your inner fire, connecting with your integrity. So, so this new moon is, is about how you can bring back your, you know, connecting with your inner essence, your, your wholeness, if you like. Yeah. So it's all about integrity, embracing your, your inner self, even when sometimes fears pop up, fears can come easily, particularly under the circumstances when, you know, when you're feeling under pressure, you're feeling, you're feeling that um, how am I going to get through this? But sticking to my, sticking to what I feel is it's uh, it's it's within my own sort of uh, uh, beliefs and my own rights and my own uh, what we call you know my own be uh, not only belief system but uh, your own sort of uh, inner truth. That's what mm. integrity is to me. Mm. Yeah. So so that's that's what uh, this uh, new moon in Aries is, is calling us. It's calling us to be more. In alignment with our truth so in doing so you know fire is is a is a very of course you know it's uh, connecting connecting with uh, also with the planet uh, Mars. Mars, Mars is all about uh, is about passion about fire and uh, Mars is, is uh, very much about saying come on get into action mm -hmm. Bring in, bring in the results. You know, it's not just, it's not just about saying, yeah, I've got the fire in my belly, but then you just keep talking about it, I keep thinking about it, I keep saying, mm, I'll do it one day. Yeah, okay, I need to rectify this, I need to look into that detail, but you don't actually get into nitty gritty and do it. So this is the, the fire, the fire says to you, now, you're ready, go through the firewalk, go through it. Because if you don't go through it, you will never know how strong you are. You will never know how the potential of who you are. And, and then you will not actually invite others to go through this firework. Because by being, you being the model, if you like, the, 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 the shining out there, you're bringing with you other people that uh, may hesitate, may feel a bit, a bit reluctant or self-doubt. It, it comes in. You know what I'm talking about. You know, mm. it, it's... You know, we are all on this, the same path and we all feel it. However much, you know, we, we say, you know, we have worked on ourselves and we have developed ourselves. The fear, the element of fear and the self-doubt and anxiety or worry can kick in any time because mm. we are humans. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, so personal integrity, wholeness, uh, it's a very t critical theme in this new moon in Aries. Okay. But equally, you've got uh, every single one of you, including me, we've got this wildness inside. <laughs> Do you agree? Yeah? We have this wildness inside. We are all these, you wild wise women, you've got this inside you. And this is the time, now in a new 28-day cycle, 
to express it, mm. to bring it up more, to to shine it more, to, and to 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 say, you know, look, you know, like how bright you are, how 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 joyful you are, how passionate you are. You know, you may know that you are, but if you don't just go out there and share it with others, nobody will know, would they? <laughs> so, so it's a little bit like bringing your wireless out there and express it. But sometimes this flame inside needs, needs, to, be, needs to be careful. And uh, that's another area that we're going to share on this call. You know, how we're going to care this flame inside. Because uh, we all got it, but sometimes we're giving so much out of our fire to other things and bits and bobs and other responsibilities. Oh. But you as an individual, you're coming last. And I know I'm saying things that you may already have heard, but I'm just recapping what is actually the key messages of these new moon in Aries. So for you to bear in mind, okay? So it's particularly this period is even more because you've got the spring energy together. We know it's like revitalizing yourself and cleansing yourself and feeling uplifted and feeling, you know, like uh, more vibrancy. Uh, and this is the things that we're going to be talking uh, this month. And then April and May is all about how we can help our system and our body. Bodies feel uh, healthier and more vibrant and more, more uh, you know, with fire. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it is. You know, we need to bring more of fire out there. And spring is the best time of the year, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. You know, it's <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. So uh, I will welcome all your, you know, like your, your views in that, you know, how, how you're planning to, to tend it or to rekindle, re re what do you call it, rekindle? Rekindle? Rekindle. Yeah, your fire. Um, and, um, and, Next, next um, circle in April, we're going to carry on on this theme. So hopefully Bridget Hamilton is going to join us. If she's, I don't know whether Bridget, you're still, are you there? Hello? No. Because we can see you, your lovely photo, but we cannot hear from you. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully Bridget is going to join us in a moment. Uh, basically, Bridget is going to speak uh, and and if it's not this time it could be it could be on another call um one of the areas that she's specializing in is about um, about the sugar intake how we can lead a sugar-free life well sugar can be taken in different ways as you know but some people we are addicted to chocolate we're addicted to fizzy drinks and lots of sugar i've got a few nutritionists on the call here so so uh, so they, they, they know a lot, a lot of this, and we have heard from both Sue and Jill. Um, anybody else here who is nutritionist, who is into nutrition, or no? We've got, we've got two here, and Bridget is, is, is also involved with this. So, and also sugar, another thing that I'm really particularly keen on, on uh, raising awareness about is uh, how it can actually affect people with um, dementia and Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and that's something I, I remember my mother-in-law, she, she passed uh, a couple of years ago, but I remember that she was actually had a signs of dementia and she wouldn't eat her lunch or her dinner, but she will always have space for chocolate and sugar and stuff. Mm. And at that mm. point, I didn't know. I didn't know that was a sign that, that you know, like you're craving for, for more sugar and stuff because you are probably, you know, getting into this dementia sort of stage. So. Right, inner fire, uh, tendering our inner fire, and, and finding ways to express it. So that's, that's the, the message <clears throat> from uh, New Morning Aries, okay? Uh, and then I would like to, you, you're very welcome to share how you feel you're going to do it. If you need any help with that part, because that's what we're here for. We're here to support each other, okay? Uh, we're here to say, okay, I'm really stuck in that area. I need help. I need some guidance, I need some support. I've tried this, but it hasn't worked out. I've tried that, it has worked out, but mm, you know, it's very slow. Is there anything else, you know, somebody in our circle here who can recommend something different, something that's really efficient and effective? Um, and we can, you know, I'm not, I'm not about quick results. I'm not somebody, you know, probably those of you who know me, I'm not somebody about getting quick results, but something that could be done, you know, like something practical, something you can put in your everyday life without causing too much upheaval and too much like uh, stress 
because we don't want more stress. <laughs> that's it. We don't want more stress because that's that's you know that was you know diminishes our fire. So um, right. So I like to to share now before I forget for later on that the next circle is on the twenty fourth of April, Monday the twenty fourth of April. Again, the same yep. time at eight o'clock. Okay, uh, GMT. Mm -hmm. Right. So. What I'm going to take you through, I'm going to take you through um, a little meditation thing because uh, one of the things I love is, uh, apart from mindfulness and meditation, is also working with color. So you can see behind here, I've got my lovely bottle. Some, somebody said that they're actually perfume bottles. Uh, they are not perfume bottles. <laughs> so so uh, they, they do smell, they do work you know, with essential oils. And they, they've got, they've got uh, in, they're incredible tools you can use in different ways mm -hmm. uh, for personal and professional uh, sort of uh, uh, awareness and prosperity. Uh, it's all about bringing back your joy for me. That's what the, the color <coughs> helps you with. Cool. So, so I'm going to, I'm going to um, uh, just to bring us all in, into, the, into the circle, I'm going to start with uh, the wonderful meditation, which is the pink. Pink Angel Meditation. Now, I'll tell you why I'm using this. I was drawn today to this wonderful bottle, which is, uh, you know, you've got uh, pink and deep pink. Uh, uh, because there's also a lot going on with the planet Venus these days. Maybe you have heard, maybe you're interested in astrology or not. But I'm not going to go deeper in that. But Venus is, is very much, is, is in retrograde, as they call it. And it's got a lot going on that are affecting us. So I'm going to mm -hmm. do a mini meditation uh, in pink, which is pink is all about unconditional love. Yeah. Priscilla, could, yeah. could you mute everybody while we, while we do that? Is that a good idea? Yes, it's a good idea. Yes. So if you, if you can just mute yourselves, it was very easy just to click mute. Uh, and then, uh, okay, brilliant. So, the, so the, the meditation takes uh, three to four minutes. It's not, it's not a long meditation, uh, but it's, it's, it can be quite deep though. Even though it is short, it can be quite deep, deep and very nourishing. So, uh, so I would work up, you know, I would say just close your eyes, just make sure that you feel comfortable, you're supported, you know, your back is supported, you know, your, your, your legs on the floor, and uh, just, just uh, feel, feel really... Uh, sort of this is time for you that's what I, what I like it this this is time just for you okay so now that you have closed your eyes see yourself in nature in the most magnificent setting you can imagine around you are huge old trees with their trunks and branches covered in moss the moss trails and drips from the branches and gently sways in the breeze. There is a stream close by. It is completely clear and bubbles and gargles of a brilliantly colored pebbles. Listen to the bird song and smell the fresh, fertile earth and blossoms. Now take your consciousness to another level, a dimension that allows you to perceive unseen beings. Take a closer look at the trees and notice the fairies skipping and dancing along the branches and swinging on the moss. Allow your energy to connect with one of them, the fairy that has agreed to help you today. She is drawn towards you as you ask for help in opening your heart you feel a warm, supportive presence behind you. And in the blink of an eye, you feel yourself enfolded within your angel of love's immense wings. The fairy flies around you, sprinkling your aura with a glistening, glowing dust, which melts away all negativity. She surrounds you with her magic, and your heart bursts with indescribable love and joy. 
hold onto this feeling for as long as you can. And ask that you are able to bring it back with you into your reality. This is a moment for you to connect with the angel of love. And if you've got a question that is there in your heart and you haven't got an answer yet, if you need for some sort of guidance, see your next step forward with the project you've got, if you need some guidance, support, some clarity with a relationship, it could be with a beloved, it could be somebody in your close environment, close family, or it could be a colleague or somebody that you have met, but you feel there's something there that you'd like to clear up. So this is a moment to ask, ask for help, ask for guidance, and know that you're not on your own. There is so much love here for you. I'm just going to allow just a few seconds to connect with the angel of love. And if you've got any questions, something that is in your mind or in your heart, and you'd like to receive some guidance. When you're ready, thank the beings of light for their love and guidance and gently bring yourself back into the present. If you would like to share how the meditation was for you and if you had a, a particular sort of a sign or a word or something that spoke to you and, you know, something that you felt, if you'd like to share it, by all means do. It's, it, would be, it would be great to hear. Did you feel, did you feel nourishing? Did you feel, uh, did you feel uh, uh, a bit disturbing or a bit relaxing or uplifting or <laughs> how was it? It'd be, good, it'd be good to put your voice in the circle when you can. Okay, okay so, so I, I found, found it quite uplifting in the, uh... oh, I've got an echo. Carry on. Can you hear me okay? okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a, uh, just, um, I'm a muting, yeah, I'm muting. I've got an echo in my ear. So, um. Okay. I'm just keeping everybody muted. So, so carry on, Jill. Um, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. It, was it was quite deep, deep actually, actually, as you say. say. Uh, and I had this, this very, very pink. pink because you showed me the bottle, I had this very pink image. <laughs> and pink isn't my colour, really. So it was quite interesting that, um, I think it was because you, 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 you know, you kind of gave me the clue, basically. Um, mm -hmm. But it, yeah, the, the sparkly, I liked, I liked it, it was really good. Yeah, I mean, the word sparkle came to me. The word sparkle, mm. you know, really spoke to me this time. Yeah. Mm. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you, Jill. And if anybody else would like to share the, their, your own experience? No? It's okay. Yes, I would. Uh, oh, carry on. Good I, really loved the, I really loved the uh, playfulness because I saw these fairies mm. playing and the branches and, and you know, uh, that felt so joyful and so uh, like the spring playing with with whatever is in nature i don't know it felt really uplifting and, and uh, mm -hmm. relaxing in my body i could feel my whole body feel so different mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Also the, like the sparkles are in your body 
I don't know how to explain. Like, like it's the champagne in your body. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, Jean was saying, I didn't want to come back. Uh, and I've got a matter of what day to approach someone I want to get back on to good terms with. Fabulous, Jean. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Goody. Yes. Uh, by all means, if you'd like to, to share, you can unmute yourself. Bro probably you can just put your hand up because we, we are a few here. You can put your hand up and if you'd like to share something, you know, unmute yourself yes, and yes. participate. Yes, please. Jean, do. Yes. So, can you hear me? Who is that? Can you hear me? Who, who is speaking? Bumi. Now? Hi, Bumi. Yes, hello, my lovely. Hello. Bumi. Mm, carry on. <laughs> uh, um, just like um, Constance says, just very playful. Mm -hmm. Very playful, um, but very watchful. The fair is very watchful. Yeah. A bit mischievous. And um, just very, very green. All the, the leaves, very green. So for me, that with crystals, I'm wearing green at the moment. <laughs> Crystal, not green clothes, but green, the colour that's heart energy as well. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about Venus, we're talking about pink um, for the heart, green for the high heart. Uh, and for me, I'm very attracted to green at the moment in this time of this time of year. So there's a lot of green around, some pink, but very playful, mischievous fairies. Yes, yes. Well, we need to feel that, <laughs> don't we? We need, yes. a, we need a playful. We need fun now. and yeah. mischievous. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, if you think about it, Aries uh, um, is, is like a very red, passionate, okay? Mm -hmm. the red, red color, which is complementary mm -hmm. to green in the system. In the yeah. system, it's very complementary to green. So Ooh, that's so, interesting. It's interesting, isn't it? I'm going to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Esther, would you like to share something? Hi, everyone. Um, that was really beautiful. Thank you. Um, I got some wisdom, mm -hmm. and it something I've been like. Basically, I've been so busy today. I haven't stopped till. I mean, it's what it's it's nearly nine o'clock, and I've been on it. And uh, it's a message that I should have sat still for a minute because I got the wisdom straight away, and I was like, "Oh, okay, thank you." So yeah, it was really beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, I like and some I, feel, I, love, I love, I love, like, you know, the um, sparkles and the love and connecting with angels and it's gorgeous. We should do more of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and I'd like to go back to Jean because, Jean, uh, it, would, you like, would you like to say something, my dear? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm unmuted. Have yes. I, are you unmuted me? Yes, I yes. did. I was just going to say, um, I got a very nice realisation about the colours because I know green is my colour, green and yellowy green autumn colours, but I do love wearing red. And you explained there is a relationship between the two. Right, right. Oh, Thank love it. That. Love it, yes. I thought I was going outside my, my uh, zone with wearing red, but now you've given me permission. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> brilliant 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 yes love it love it i i think of you in red jean the first time mm. i met you you had red on yes oh thank you thank you oh, well mm. yeah so, you'll yeah, almost we... certainly see me in red again there we go <laughs> <laughs> look forward to that yes fantastic thank you. fantastic uh liz over to you yeah hi um i realized just recently i don't quite know how recently but i realized that as a as a little girl I used to imagine a fairy mm. and uh, she was purple and had wings and I used to imagine sitting in the back of the car with my parents when we were going places and she'd dance along by the side of me Aww. skipping about and dancing and, and she came back to me recently and she came back to me in, in that meditation then so that to me was quite powerful because um, yeah something that you think you're kind of dreaming up and imagining as a child you realise that's got quite a lot of power for you so nice and you can still have it when you're an adult. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I'm, I'm a very play, I was a very playful, mischievous child and an adult. So, yeah, it's, it's good. <laughs> fabulous, fabulous. Yeah, well, yeah. actually, actually, sometimes I know that you don't need anybody to uh, give you the permission to do anything. 
but sometimes we sometimes we're waiting to say is it okay for me to be playful is it okay to be a little bit crazy is it okay to bring my wildness out there you know yeah. and then and then and then you're hesitating a bit oh you know for whatever reason whatever reason either because you have a good time to go to that space because you felt oh you've got to be your serious face your mom face or your professional face mm-hmm. uh, or mm-hmm. or you might say oh what what others would think about me? Would they like me being like that? A bit of crazy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I would say, just give it a go. <laughs> give it a go. Yeah. And I, at the end of the day, who makes you feel good? That's what it matters. That's what really the, the, the bottom line is. Do things. I, I would love to do things. And I'm inviting you, you all to do things that you really, really love. You know, that, that brings, the, brings the best out mm-hmm. of you. Not because you have to do them, but because you love doing them. And mm-hmm. that's, for me, that's, uh, if we are in a space of good feelings inside, things can, you know, we are, we, you know, maybe you have heard of being in alignment with your true, being in alignment with your, your, your inner being, your inner essence. Um, that's, that's, where, that's where we need to be. And if we feel a little bit, you know, derailed, because mm-hmm. it's normal to feel this, you know, feeling out of uh, um, your alignment or disalignment, if you, if you want mm-hmm. to say that. Find a way to bring back some sort of relief. Yeah? Find a way to, to bring back and feel some sort of relief. Because that, the moment you start feeling into that, becoming become more conscious, then you start feeling good inside. And then automatically you're coming back into to who you truly are. So I'm just leaving you with that thought for the moment. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so I just want to see if there's anything else that I'd like to share with you. Okay. Yeah. It is about, it's about allowing what we're saying before. Okay. Uh, bear bear in mind that I've got another meditation in mind that I would like to do, uh, which is, uh, bringing the element of fire. (laughs) Yeah. Because uh, if there's anything you're thinking of, uh, Uh, going through like uh, going what we call a firework if you've got a a new project if you've got a a, you're making a new start in something I know Bumi is actually making a new start in uh, using crystals in uh, in big time big time it's a big big uh, big step for you Bumi isn't it Uh, and then uh, we are actually myself Jill Sue we are launching new courses uh, this springtime and it's all very tomorrow tomorrow. (laughs) So, um, so there you go. So we've got, you know, it's a, I think we, we, I, I would like to include the fire meditation in a little while. Okay. Before, before we, we say good night. Okay. Right. So where are we now then? Um, for, for, for whatever reason, uh, Bridget cannot be on the call. So we've got a space to talk a little bit about uh, ways to, um, to, to cleanse or uplift our system. Okay. So uh, um, I would like to start, I know Sue could actually bring in something and Jill as well. And if there's anybody else who's got some ideas how to do that, by all means, you know, let's, let's talk about that. What time is it? Let me just see. We're, okay, we've got, we've got some time left. So I hope I'm not putting you on the spot here, ladies, but uh, I, I know you are able to talk about these areas because you are very <laughs> much, very much uh, involved with uh, nutrition and and ways how to help women, but not only women, you know, how to help people bring back their fire, bring back their vitality. So if there's one thing, because I would like to allow everybody to say something, or if not everybody, but at least I'd like, I like you all to contribute. Uh, if there's one thing you would like to, to share, what would that be, Sue? Let me just uh, unmute you first. There you go. I think that um, springtime is a really key time for us to um, really detox and cleanse our bodies and release all the toxins Mm. because all the time uh, through the food we're eating, through the environment that we're in, we're just, um, our bodies are just accumulating toxins. Mm-hmm. Um, and it really doesn't help our energy. It really doesn't help our health. Um, so it's a really good time to actually take some time to really cleanse your body, do a detox, um, so that you really revitalize 
your energy, your, your mental clarity, boost your immune system, so that you can really go forward into the, you know, the next few months, if you like, really feeling great, feeling energized. And I think, you know, I always think about spring is A, about revitalization, but it's also about birth as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, and by doing that sort of cleansing and detoxing, you're actually detoxing your mind as well and promoting more creativity um, and enabling you to be more creative. So it's a great time for for birthing new projects, new things, um, and, you know, rebirthing yourself in a way as well as to, you know, getting ready for the, for the next few months of the year. Yes, yes. Well, when you think of, of spring, you do think of, uh, of new beginnings. Yeah, you, you do, you know, everything comes out, is everything is fresh and new, and, and, you know, there's lots of light, uh, more light, uh, and lots of color, you know, beautiful color, you know, like you have all the, all the yellow and, and greens and lots of other colors in, in, uh, in nature. So, um, so, uh, so is there one particular way you would like to share with us that uh, we could actually, uh, maybe we already do it, maybe we haven't done it for a, quite a long time because I, I know that it's not always good to ke keep yourself on a regime. <laughs> so is there something that we can bring back into our sort of everyday routine? Oh, I think one of the key things is, is actually hydration. Drinking enough water is very, very key. Something that, you know, I know that you know, when we're so busy and we're on these lives of, you know, busy on a treadmill, it's so easy not to uh, remember to drink. Good, good job, Jill. <laughs> uh, hey, good job, Dean. Um, and yet, you know, hydration is just so important to our bodies to actually help the bodies and the liver and the kidneys and everything to get rid of all the, the toxins and crap uh, out of our bodies. But, you know, drinking enough water is actually a really key way to keep your energy levels up as well because when your body's hydrated then you're you know you're more you're, you're more full of energy yes um and if you're if you're feeling thirsty you're already dehydrated so it's really important to have a regular thing of keeping a glass of water or whatever with you or taking bottles of water with you and um you know drinking regularly through the day mm-hmm mm-hmm Brilliant. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. And you're, you're launching a new course, a new online program. Uh, would you like to share the title of it? Yeah, it's basically called The Core Cleanse. And it's a 21 day program that will get you um, energized, improve your mental clarity, boost mm. your immune system, and uh, just really sort of make sure that you are everything in your body and particularly in your gut is rebalanced so that you can really go forward uh, feeling healthy and energized and uh, looking forward to uh, the next few months with, uh, with lots of energy and clarity. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, at this point, I'd also like to say, thank you, Sue. I'd like to say that um, all the information we're sharing here, if there's like a, a new course coming up, a new project that you would like some uh, help or some idea, some change, you know, like... A, because sometimes you, when you're doing a project, you, you're very much, as a self-employed person, from my point of view, you're very much on your own. So if there's some sort of, you like to bounce ideas off with somebody else, there's a group on Facebook, and I believe that you're all part of it. Apart from Liz, that I, Liz I, will, I will add you to this. Uh, Thank it's, you. Called, it's called Life Inspiring Conversations with Chrisula and Soulful Connections like yourself. Uh, and, uh, and, Jean, when we are connected, as we, when we become friends of Facebook, then, then I could invite you as well, okay? So all the things that we're actually talking here, you're very welcome to share the links and, and, and share with the others as well, okay? So, I, you know, when people watch this back, they will hear about you, but they sometimes, you know, it's not easy to share the links here. <laughs> so, so there's there's another way we can do that. Yeah, there's, we've got a we have a portal platform there we can share with others, uh, including like uh, Esther. I know you're you're actually doing something really uh, big, uh, a big uh, sort of um, like exhibition or bringing people together. 
uh, lots of therapies uh, in October. Again, when you've got more details and you would like to share that, please do. You know, and then whenever you come back here on the call, let us know. You know, so like a little reminder. Um, I know that Constance, who lives in Holland, will not be able to join us, but <laughs> but I'm sure she's very curious. She would like to know what's happening in everybody else's life and vice versa. Okay, fabulous. So, uh, Jill, what uh, would you say would be a uh, number one tip for, you know, spring coming up? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to give you, like, too much time because, you know, we can t carry on talking about uh, spring, spring decluttering, detoxing or cleansing <coughs> next, next month. But what would be one, uh, one way forward? Well, of course, uh, Sue and I work um, with the same systems. So uh, we're, you know, every, everything that Sue has said, basically. Mm -hmm. um, but I think one of the things that happens in the wintertime, and it's a bit crazy, isn't it, that people talk about New Year's resolutions and, uh, uh, what is it, um, dry January, you know, all that kind of thing. And uh, it, it's, it's not reasonable, I don't think, to... Uh, go on to those kind of regimes when you're basically supposed to be hibernating mm. you know we're supposed to be staying indoors we're supposed to be keeping warm you know all the foods that we eat are quite different so as you say now that we're into spring and i use the same system as sue and i de detoxify about three times a year at least i've just done the detox that, that uh, sue is talking about and uh so it's about cleansing the body but it's also to be honest with you just getting out inside and getting some fresh air because i think we get so stuck in our ways good habits is really about just you know uh, changing some things and about making a decision mm. so one of the decisions that we could all make is actually going outside and uh, breathing the air much more frequently because uh you know we're talking about clarity of mind we're talking about getting good oxygen into the body i'm a pilates teacher so you know using the the clean air outside is much more beneficial for you mm -hmm. so alongside all the things that sue said then if you were to ask me one thing it would be to get out get yourself some sunshine go out in the fresh air right so fresh air uh, mm -hmm. to yeah fresh air and also you're actually talking about two elements here you talk about mm -hmm. water you're talking water about air. Air. <laughs> and we're talking about fire as well. Yay! <laughs> and the earth. Simpatico. <laughs> and the earth. And, and the earth. earth. Yeah. Yes, the earth, of course. Yes, uh, let me just say that on the 22nd of April, maybe you already know, or maybe not, uh, we celebrate uh, Earth. It's, it's World Earth Day. I organize an annual celebration, uh, a fabulous, special, you know, spiritual retreat called Blissland, which is in Cheshire. And it's on Saturday, the 22nd of April. Starts at 10 o'clock, 10.30 in the morning until 5 o'clock in, uh, in the afternoon. But it is uh, the whole package of it, which is uh, the people that are attracted coming together um, and who are, we're all sort of on the same path of, of wanting to share our, our light and our fire and uh, contribute to other people's well-being, okay? Uh, and you have to come. You have yes. to come. I just had the best time last year. I didn't know what to expect, but I just came away from there. Just, I just had the best time. You have to come. That's it. Yeah, it, it is also, thank you, Jill. It's a combination of, of um, the people bringing their own energy, of course, in everywhere, every, every event you do. Uh, but equally, it's, it's the, the location that play, yeah. plays a, a vital role. And this, play, this space is, is uh, located on ley lines. If you know anything about ley lines, about basically, they're very, you know, lines that have got a particular energy. When you're there, I'm not, I'm not going to give you more information because I'm not a specialist in, in the field. But when you're there, you really feel uplifted. You know, <laughs> you, you, you don't have to do much, but you feel uplifted by the actual place. Yes, uh, Jean, it is in Cheshire. Yes, yes. And I, I would, I would uh, share information with, uh, with uh, I mean, all the information is already on, on the, our closed group, but, uh, but there's also a dedicated event page that I can, I can share with you and have a, have a look. You're very welcome to join us. We are going to be you know, gathered in a circle, a real circle, you know, uh, and uh, we're going to do a lot of, uh, there will be a meditation, a lot of sharing, time out, you know, in nature. There's a beautiful uh, a space called the Labyrinth where you can go and meditate in silence. Oh, there's, a, there's so many other things. And then, of course, everybody's bringing healthy food and we can share lunch together. 
Um, are, we, are we having the shaman? Uh, I don't know if he's going to make it. He hasn't come oh. back here to me yet. But, oh, uh, that was the best bit, wasn't it, Sue? So brilliant, excellent, yeah, fabulous. <laughs> So, so uh, we'll see, you know, uh, sometimes, sometimes, you know, things are happening uh, spontaneously and uh, like that. You never know. We ask for a shaman. Let's have a shaman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, so the energy there is amazing. It really is a magical, magical place. And uh, yeah, as you, uh, you come away feeling very uplifted and, and energized. So definitely try and make it. Yeah, it is, it is a time also for me, it is about bringing uh, the majority of people that are coming in, this, in, in my events there particularly, we're celebrating Earth Day, is women. Uh, because it's, it's, a, it's a way for you also to connect with your own uh, feminine essence. Sometimes we don't have the time to do that, do we? So it is we, did have, we did have two men last time, didn't we? Two or three, I think. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, so it is a time to... We're three. Yeah, we're three. Yeah. Three, was it? Mm. fabulous fabulous so um anything else that you would like to add to the idea i mean uh, uh for me i know that i haven't asked you to say something about crystals and you're very welcome to mm -hmm. say something next next circle uh if if you're if, hoping, hoping that you're joining us but is there a particular crystal that helps cleansing You need to, sorry, cool. I'm going to unmute you. Let me just unmute you. There you <laughs> go. Hi, um, quartz is a master amplifier. It's a cleanser. That's a clarifying crystal. So your master quartz is really good for getting mentally clear, you know, ready physically um, for spring. And then all the yellow stones, um, the sunstone, citrine, uh, imperial topaz, you know, carnelian, so the red and the orange stones, those are the fire stones. Mm -hmm. Those are the those are the uplifting stones that give you the energy and the motivation to kind of, you know, carry through on your goals, etc. So all the red, orange and yellow stones, those are all the sun, sun strong sun stones to be mm -hmm. to be using. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to get mm -hmm. you uplifted. Keep your vibration high. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, I love I love my rose quartz here. Look, I love it. I've got <laughs> I've got two more there. I've got two more there. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. for um, um, for you know like um, nurturing relationships. It's uh, it's yeah. gorgeous, unconditional love, yeah. and bringing yeah. you know like bringing into your life uh, good good connections, good people yeah. to, to work with. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, like yourselves, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Right. So, um, uh, is there anything else you'd like to share? Because I, it is almost nine o'clock, and I said that normally it would go up to quarter past nine. We can stretch up quarter past nine, but I would like us to do another meditation, bringing the fire energy. I talk about fire. Jill, Jill Baram has got something fiery to share. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. Uh, right, yeah, so, so um, I've got various different programs, but I've just created a new low entry program. So, uh, as you know, if you know anything about, you know, uh, building your tribe. Um, so I have a, a program called 14 Days to Fabulous which is a video program which is launching tomorrow. As long as Rachel and I are on the case this evening, it's proving a challenge just through IT and all that kind of thing. I, I um, so 14 Days to Fab yeah, I know. Mm. 14 Days to Fabulous, um, How to Look and Feel 10 Years Younger. And it's a video system. It's just 10 to 15 minute videos delivered into um, your email box over 14 days. And it's specifically designed for women, for busy women, busy mums, entrepreneurs, who, as Chris Uda says, are so busy that they tend to put themselves at the bottom of the pile and probably have really good intentions to look after themselves but maybe are a little bit confused with all the mixed messages you get you know online and uh, just need a, some simple straightforward directions so these are the 14 things that you need to do to start you on that a journey to <laughs> fabulous fabulous yeah. looking forward to it yeah looking forward to all these new things coming up springtime uh, it's only 14 pounds bargain 
Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, well, these, uh, these online courses that uh, I am actually, yeah, I find this technology side of it sometimes too, too, no. <laughs> so, so I've got I've got all the contents I could actually just say, but the technology behind it. So, uh, so I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Keeping cool. <laughs> I'm getting there. So, so yeah, it is. It is. I know that the beginning is hard when you deal with something new. That's that's a lesson as well, isn't it? That uh, when we start something new, we are always getting ourselves under a lot of pressure to figure it out, to connect with it, to understand it, to perfect it. Uh, and then eventually when we get it, that's it. It's moving, it's going, and then you feel really good about it. So I am feel connected with that kind of feeling that when, when everything is sorted, I will feel really lazy. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I look all right considering the day I've had, really. Don't I? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> This is it's, uh, yeah. This today I didn't move far far. Although I, I did understand a few things about the technology behind this uh, launching this new course. I'm talking about as well. Uh, I didn't go very far, but at the same time said you're not going to get stressed about it, Christina. You're not going. <laughs> oh bless, bless. Yeah, my course is called uh, Golden Keys to Prosperity. The Golden Keys to Prosperity. And uh, I'm not going to share much more about it because uh, I know it's already late. Uh, I've already shared some things on Facebook, that, but one of the, the key things, keys to prosperity is uh, integrity. That's, uh, that's what I share already. And uh, when uh, every day you're going to get, uh, to get my sort of uh, uh, input, my inspiration a bit, and then every day you're going to get a new key taking you through step by step, opening another portal, another pathway, and moving forward. And uh, that's all much connected with uh, the system I work with, the Calomir system, but also bringing in other philosophies, hard intelligence, uh, bringing in numerology as well, and uh, the art of allowing, the law of attraction. So, um, so this is a pack of everything I have used over the last few years on my own path as well. So I'm looking forward to that. So, uh, so I'll let you know when it's actually launching for good. <laughs> ah, brilliant, brilliant. So, um, right, are we ready for another meditation? And then uh, we're going to, um, to say good night. Yes, okay. So this one here is, is the, is I'm going to spray a bit of, uh, it's a fire spritzer. It's one of the elements, el the elementals in the system. We also have got the air, the water, you, some of you have already been connected with uh, the water elemental. So this one, this one is the fire, okay? So I'll spray another one because you may say, oh, you spray it to yourself, what about me? What about me? Well, it's energy. So I am sending you the energy, wherever you are, wherever you are, okay? So, uh, so it's like that. And then I'm gonna breathe it in. And then all around the auric field, because this is a way to cleanse your auric field, okay? Lovely. Sending to you as well. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, so just uh, go back, take a deep breath, make yourself uh, comfortable. Now let's see how this is gonna take where it's gonna this meditation is gonna take you. <laughs> okay. Find yourself outside a copper temple. At the entrance to the temple is a tall man dressed in a pale blue with a blue turban. Blue because it's the complementary of orange, by the way. He takes your hand and escorts you into the temple. Hmm, where is he taking you? In the center of the temple is a flame that is as tall as you are. You walk towards the flame and the man releases your hand. You have to do this on your own. For a moment, 
think of what it is that you are ready to release. That's what fire can do. It can really burn anything that holds you back. Anything that makes you feel small, makes you feel unwanted, or makes you feel little. Fire can do that. When you're ready, step into the flame. Fire, you need fire in a belly. What we call courage. Orange is the color that brings the courage back into you. Let this cleansing flame burn up everything that still keeps you small. Let it burn up everything that still keeps you from being magnificent. As you stand in that flame, begin to feel the energy of the fire dragon stepping into your energy field and into your body. Expand into the vastness and power of this being. The phoenix are the being, is the being that has claimed their fire energy. Can you just claim your own fire energy? Let this energy into your being. Feel your courage expanding and your power and your light and your beauty. When you're ready, step out of the flame and feel how tall and light you feel. The ascending master that helps you into the flame meets you and puts his hands together. He lifts his head and looks into your eyes and says, well done. The initiation is successfully completed. Take the time to connect with him or her or her and take the time to express your wish, to express what it is that you really, really want to feel, to have in your life. Because it's all about, in New Moon, it's all about setting intentions. Let's remind ourselves of setting good intentions for you, for the people you love, for society, for, for Mother Earth. For something that really, really speaks to you, that really, really, really want to have it in your life and feel the beauty of it expanding from your heart. I'm allowing just a few seconds to take the time to do that because on New Moon, today and tomorrow, this is the best time to set any new intentions. You may want to do it right here, right now. You may want to complete it later or tomorrow. But this is the best time, I feel. Gratitude is, is another key to prosperity, another key that brings you back to your joy. So when you're ready, after you have given your thanks, you can now walk out of the temple and gently bring your consciousness into our circle, wherever you are. Was it different this time, Jill? <laughs> I feel like my head was going to explode. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> I did. All this energy just came up and out the top of my head um, and, until we got to the end bit and then we were talking about intentions. 
And I set my intention today to help six women with my VIP program. Mm -hmm. And as I was doing it, I could imagine the faces of those six women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The last one took a while to get to come to me, but I just relaxed. And then the last face came to me. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing that things, it may not come straight to you. Uh, another, another thing to, uh, before we, we close our circle, complete our circle tonight, if things don't come straight away, just enjoy the journey because, uh, and keep the mom momentum, keep the momentum. We have every single one of you, including myself and every single one who's going to watch this back. You've got so many desires and all of these desires are absolutely your divine right to see them manifest in your life. But sometimes, you know, the, the, there's a moment where things can go a little bit wrong or like a wrong meaning like becoming too hard to achieve and then you're losing that kind of enthusiasm. So this is when you really need to keep at it and find different ways to say, I believe in what I want. I believe, you know, find people around you to... to to inspire you, talk to people, you know, whatever you can do to keep that good feeling inside, yeah? Because that's when, that's when you know, you're asking, you're believing, and then you're receiving. Asking, believing, receiving. You need to carry on, you know, you, you need to carry on believing because belief is halfway through. If you carry on believing and keeping yourself, like, in that sort of positive momentum, positive stage, then things will come to you, yeah? But it, it's, yes, that's why you need, you know, maybe circles like this or people in your life that will keep you, you, will, you, you know, keep you like, feel that, that support, that inspiration, that enthusiasm feeding you back and forward. Yeah. Fabulous. Well, you can actually do these meditations again. You can watch it back and you know that the pink meditation, the, the love uh, meditation is at the, almost at the beginning of the, of the call. And the fire meditation, if you want, if you feel like, oh, I feel a little, my, my energy is low, I feel a bit discouraged, I feel a little bit, you know, mm, I really need to get my fire back in me, you can do the meditation again. You know, it's, uh, that's, that's the other thing. When you have recorded things, you can, you can, you can say, shoop, down, I want this. <laughs> and you can play back. Easy peasy. Yeah? Um, fantastic. Well, thank you so much. I don't know. Is there something else you'd like to, to, to say before we close? Is there something, you know, to, are you feeling complete with our circle tonight? Would you like to say how, you know, what, what you got, one thing you got out of the circle tonight, and then we're going to say good night. Yeah. Uh, Jill, thank you because you already shared your bit. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. my dear. Yeah. Uh, who would like to go next? Put your hand up if you'd like to go next. Hello, Bumi, yes. Hi, uh, yeah, just another um, sense of connection again with uh, women. Um, my journey has been such that um, I was never connected to women as I was sort of growing up. Mm -hmm. And it's only been the like, last couple of years that just some things just said, you know, now's the time to connect with like-minded women. And it's been really amazing. And I met some wonderful women. Um, so for me now, being in a circle just feels so comfortable um so yeah it's been great beautiful beautiful thank you thank you for coming along thank you so much who's next thank you <laughs> who would like to go next constance yes let me just unmute you that's it that's it go ahead okay I really enjoyed this uh, circle, you know, I, I love the meditations you do, so that was great. And I also love to be with women and I have put something in my intentions for this year and one was I would like to be in a sisterhood circle which is inspiring and I know now I am. Oh, bless it, Constance, <laughs> that's fabulous. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. So, yeah, that was yeah. it. That's it. It's okay. Big for me. Yeah, that's big. Yeah. Yeah, it is big. It is. It is. It is big for me too. It is totally mm -hmm. because uh, it's it's lovely to know that we are we will have a uh, uh, women that can uh, support us and have our back. So who is mm -hmm. who is who is next? Who would like to say something before we close the circle?
Shall I go? Yeah, okay. That's it. I've already said it, but <laughs> I would just like to say thank you so much, everybody. You know, it, it is a, it is a, it's a real honor to have you all together. Uh, I know that by saying yes to coming here, you're saying yes to yourself first. And it is, it is a, a big, a big thing. So don't, you know, I'm not taking just, uh, just uh, you know, you're here and so what, you know. It, it is a saying yes to you, so saying yes to sort of loving yourself and allowing the time just to be with other women. But learning something, feeling more inspired, I believe by the end of the call that you felt this inspiration, you felt that relaxation, you, you took something out of it that you'll be able to bring it back into your daily life. Like, uh, you know, some, and you can watch it back. Uh, and then again, you can you can choose what to watch back. This is this is the, the goodness about technology. <laughs> Let's remind ourselves of that. <laughs> okay. So so look forward to see you again next uh, next time. We'll be on the twenty fourth of April at eight o'clock. But in the meantime, we're also connected. Uh, there's another another um, circle. I I open it also to men and women. The something has been going on uh, for, for the last uh, 14 months now, and it's called the Holistic Calls, Life Holistic Calls. And uh, the next one is on the, I think on the 10th of, Mar 10th of April, Monday. It's, it's always on the second Monday every month. Okay, the second Monday every month. Right, fabulous. So, Thank you. So, bye -bye. okay, Constance, how do you say, how do you say um, uh, goodbye in Dutch? Goeiedag. Goeiedag. Yeah. Okay. And then in Greek, <laughs> in Greek, adio. Adio. <laughs> Take care. Bye for now. Bye. Ciao. Bye.